Alright guys, so this is a requested video, um, how to make signs. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go on your computer, and I'm right, I happen to be right by mine, and you're just going to want to, uh, first got to find out what kind of sign, like what sign you want. Just figure that out first, and then go on your computer. Just do my camera a second. You want to go to this link that I gave you? And, uh, you want to find, like, let's say you're making a uh, posted sign. You want to find out how, how many feet it is in, um, life-size feet to be scaled. So that's, like, let's say you're going to do a posted sign, or a speed limit sign. You want to search, right? So the speed limit, it, you got to find the dimensions. So you're going to want to go, like, I mean, you can pretty much guess, but this is the best way to do it. So you gotta find out what, so you can do other, so you can do 150, so that's 150 a scale, and then let's just say it's 1 foot, or 1.5 feet, and then you convert it, it'll give you it down here, it's 1 inch, so scale size, it'd be 0.36 inches, so that's, or you could do rounded, so let's just say it's 0.36, then you're gonna open up Word. Uh, let Word load up. Um, so then you wanna import your picture. Let's just say speed limit. copy this image, go back up to Word, paste it in Word here, I'm using Word 2007, I'm going to right click on it, text wrapping, square, I don't even know if you have to do it, but that's what I like to do, and you want to go to size, so if it was, the width was it, if the width was uh, 0.36, and then inches, you hit close, and then it squares off, so, I mean, it kind of works, but that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you can do it a bunch of different ways, but that's how I do it. So then once you're done, you're going to print that out. And uh, you can close out of this. But that's all the converter is for, is just find out your dimensions. It's much easier than guessing and checking. So then once you're done with that... You're going to want to get a nail or some sort of stake. You can use a toothpick if you want. Um, and then you want to print out your paper and cut it. I have these keep out signs. So you're going to want to cut this out. And I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to do this. But it will be a small square. And you should probably get some sort of background if it's plastic or try not to use cardboard. Maybe a thick card, like a real thin cardboard. Um, anything else. And then you can just glue that on the back. Back of this sign. And you're going to take your nail a little glue, let's say, say this is your sign right here, there's nothing on it, you're going to put whatever it is, and then you're going to take the nail, and glue it to it, and make sure you try to get it straight, and that's your sign, and it'll be in scale, so you don't have to worry about that, and there's your sign, so hope that helps, clears up anything, and uh, yeah, so peace out.